in progress. Okay, so what I want you to do is, okay, press select an option. Select an option. Uh, yeah, click that one. Current location? Yeah, under location. Okay, uh, yeah, but no, uh, click, click uh, state and region. And pick California. Good. Uh, pick division two. Let's go down. You should be able to go to where it says male or female. I believe. Let's go back up. What the heck? You coming into my Zoom meeting? Romero is. Your dad is. Hello, Dad. Okay, do you see where it says men and gender? Go down, uh, no, not that far. Go back up. <clears throat> right. Oh, it doesn't have gender because it knows you're a girl. Uh -huh. Got it. Okay. So this is correct. NCAA Division Two. Okay. So see these schools here? Yes. Um, now, actually, go down. I want you to click on where it says field of study. Uh, on the left side, yeah. Go back up. Field of study. Ah, there we go. Okay, and pick a major. You're not like I said. We're not gonna have that tomorrow. So pick a different major that you might like. Dad, since you just joined us, what this is here is, I've invested in making a platform, basically that will help us do a better job of picking schools and keeping track of schools. So. Okay. Otto will have a profile on this uh, program that I've created. And basically, it's a website that will, let's say, you know, three months after we're meeting, we want to like think of another school. This platform will, you can put in, we want a school in California for this much money with these majors, and it will automatically create that. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Uh, it took me a long time to build. And here we go. So, agriculture and animal part. Oh, look at that. They do have, that's amazing. Okay. So, Perfect. This is a prime example. Okay, so scroll to the top of, are those all the schools? Yes. Okay, perfect. So scroll down. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect. And these are in California. Out of curiosity, take away the divisions and take away California. And just do, oh, wait, go back to state and region. Oh, wait, it did it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, good. So now these are all the schools with this your potential major in all the divisions. Um, do division three for me real quick, please. Okay. Scroll down. Find a few schools. Okay, good. So obviously that's very helpful because it just it gives it. We could have Googled this, but now we don't have to because it's it's produced for us. So go back to, actually, no, let's stay here for a second. I want us to click, let's do California, actually. So go back to California, please. Perfect. So these two schools, which are already on our list, I want you to put them as a favorite. So click both of them mm -hmm, and do it for the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay, now go to the house. The top left. The house. Part. The home. Very good. Scroll down. And now go to manage favorites. Very good. Okay. So here are your favorites. So um, let's click on Santa Cruz, for example. So uh, it gives us the coaches emails, their names, and uh, it explains if you scroll down a little bit. It explains the cost and a couple other details about the school. 
Um, in particular, oh yeah, it does that. Okay. And how many kids go to the school and the acceptance and the grades and all that good old stuff. Okay, so I'll go back up. Now, this is really important. From this platform, you can email the schools by pushing one button, but I do not want you to do that. And the reason is, uh, actually, go ahead, click, click on that email, click on Lauren's email. Uh, click above, I think directly on her email. Oh, there it goes. It takes you, good. It takes you directly to Gmail, which is what we want. Because if you send it from, this is, you know, my platform is good, but my platform is limited. If you send it from the platform, it's going to say Jillian at collegesoccerguy.com. And they will ignore it because they're going to know that it's a generic email. So this is how I want it to work. So I'll press, uh, cool. Yeah, delete this actually. Um, and go back to, uh, it's called productive recruiting. Hold on. That's okay. Actually, you stay there, Jillian. Let me share my screen. All right. So, can you see my screen? No. Yes. Yes. Which screen can you see? This screen? Okay, now you can do it. All right, so uh, as I'm, this is a, actually, let's go back to here. I'm gonna impersonate you, okay? Okay. Okay, so we are at now managing our favorites. So here are two schools in California with the degree that you might like. So obviously we would put this on the top of our list and we favorited them. Now that we know about them, the next step is we need to write our email, like what we're gonna say. And I was telling, this is really important while your father's online, Ms. Jillian, will you please tell your father what I need and how you're gonna get it to me? I need a interview of Daniel. I need to text Coach Miguel and ask him for downloadable links to every single huddle game. Video and video of PT. Video of so, PT. Yes, very good. So in your daughter's case, she got an ankle injury. I'm not, I'm not an expert, but I've done my ankle many times. And I'll know by the exercise she's given if it's a good physical therapist or not. And I've had too many injuries to talk about, but I've had the, literally the best physical therapist in the world. And I still don't think they're very good sometimes. So I'll give my two cents on, on that. But more importantly, from the college perspective, the videos are really important. Now, here's the good news. Because you guys contacted me when you did, we're not at like DEFCOM 10 and going, you know, if you don't give me this video and your daughter's not fit in two weeks, we're going to miss the boat here. We don't, we're not in that phase, which is great. We don't want to be, we never want to be in that phase because it's no fun. And next year she's going to learn how to drive and take her SATs and it's all going to be even busier. So my point is um, the quicker she can give me the footage we've decided and Jillian, please confirm with me, you're going to send me all the video and I'm going to make the video for you. Yes. Um, I believe this is the best option. It's also the fastest option. So We'll have that sorted. So that'll be done and dusted, which will be great. Okay. So now when we use this platform and Jillian, I'm going to give you some, you know, college work to do with me, but also maybe on times on your own. I just want to reiterate, do not send an email from this website. Okay. You can email from your personal one. Okay. So now the reason this is important is I do want to give an example. I did create an email for her too. Oh, I want to see that. Where is that? Um, let me... Let me find it. Wonderful. While you're doing that, um, what I want to do is I just want to show you what happens if you were to pretend to email. Oh, I know what to do. So it's just Jillian Gara 4 at gmail.com. Oh, that you created a Gmail account. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Okay, my bad. That's also great. Very good. Yeah, the other wow. one's a shared account with us. Good, 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 good. Okay, great. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So here, Jillian, I want to show you this. You can see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. 
So while we're not going to send emails from this platform, because even though I built it out, it's not perfect. You are, though, going to do your best, and I'm going to put this in your college soccer dream work, to fill this out. Um, a couple of the things. Some of it, I, I like, it's, it's not that difficult. There's like two questions. Um, and the reason it's helpful is we probably will send a video of you and a little link to your profile. So if they want to like learn more about you, they can click the little profile. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now we're going to be special because we're special people. We're not only going to have video of you maybe playing soccer. We might have video of you donating your time somewhere or at a soccer high school soccer banquet that you're getting an award for. We want them, this platform to be like who you are as a person, not just the soccer player. Okay. Okay, wonderful. Um, so that will be some of your stuff. You can change your email too if you want. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to show you what how we're gonna keep track of emails. Um, and I will have to figure that out. I know how to do that. Uh, okay, we'll do this next. So. We're going to write an email right now to UC Santa Cruz. So they give us the website, which is lovely. Now, this is the uh, school web. Oh, it takes us to the athletics. Perfect. So then we're going to go to soccer and we're going to go to the schedule. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. We're going to go to the schedules. We're going to go to schedule. So the oh. reason we're going to look at the schedule first, I'm going to, I'm going to write this in your documents. Don't worry, but I just want to say it out loud now is actually better yet go to your google document please and let's put this at the bottom of the document under so go scroll to the bottom i'm going to make this the header i'm going to call it email email template oh yeah all right so write this down underneath please are you ready yes Number one, Google the schedule of the team. Okay, so first we're looking at the schedule. So the reason we look at the schedule is it really tells us a lot about the recruiting process. Now, in your case, they are looking for 04s, 03s. That's what's happening right now. They're going to prioritize 03s, but your name will be in the involved. And as I wanted to express to both of you, the college recruiting process is about relationships. This is why it's important to have video because if they see your daughter once and they love her, they're still not going to probably pick her. They need to see her many times, three or four times before they're going to give her a scholarship for sure and say, yes, we want you for the next four years. Now, I know your daughter should play college soccer and you know it, but they don't know who she is. So it's a process. So anyways, we're going to look at the schedule. Do you know what 500 means, Miss Jillian? 500 is like average. Exactly. It's average. It's like you won as many as you lost, and it's not that good. It's not great. It's average. So it tells us a lot about the recruiting process, because if they did average, it means they want to be above average. So they're looking for certain players. Now, everybody's always recruiting, but it just gives you a vibe that's important. Now, we're looking at Santa Cruz because of their major. As we spoke about, we're going to be open-minded about that, but... These same teams are going to be other schools that we're going to look at. So that's why I want you to look at the schedule because over the next three months or six months or a year, your brain is going to be like, oh my gosh, I've memorized UC Merced, Claremont, Pomona. Like I know these schools and I remember, and I recognize that coach's face. Dad, that's the UC Santa Cruz coach. I got to go say hi. That's what we need. So um, we're scrolling through here. We see that they've done, okay, they won a bunch, they lost some, they did go to their tournament and they lost and they did not go to the NCAA tournament. Do you know what that is? Division two? So the NCAA is like, okay, you know what the World Cup is? Yes. You have to qualify for the World Cup. So you have to do well in your region to then qualify. It's very similar. The NCAA is like the World Cup. To qualify for the NCAA tournament, you have to do well in your own conference to then qualify. So they did well in their conference tournament. That's what this is, your conference coast championship. Pretty much, it's really, the college system is horrible. But basically, you play a bunch of games that are in league and out of league. Then you're given a score. If that score is amazing, you get an automatic bid, like basketball, into the NCAA tournament. 
However, if your score is not very good, you have to stay in your tournament. And if in your conference tournament you win, you get an automatic bid. So they went to their tournament, UC Santa Cruz, and they lost uh, in the second to last game. So it was a heartbreaker. You know, they'll be sad. Okay. Number two, write this down in your um, document, please. Write down number two. Roster. Look up the roster. Okay, so now this is when we do something a little bit different. We're not only looking up the roster for positions, and to be honest, we don't care. It doesn't matter if they have a lot of defenders. They're always looking for more. Or it, that a lot of coaches like see who's graduating. I don't agree. They always need more players. But – but what does matter is a connection. So I don't know every single girl that you know, and you probably don't, you'll be surprised to be like, oh, that girl played for that team and went there. I know that girl. We need those connections when we email them. So the reason you're going to look at the roster is you're looking for a connection. San Diego, okay, Bonavista High School. Do we know anything buddy at Bonavista High School? Let's see, personal, she played at Bonavista, blah, 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 blah. Okay, do you know Bonavista? I've heard of them. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Not a connection. Keep going. Huntington Beach, Alamany, Redondo, Los Angeles. Let me see. Hang on. Let's see. Played. Okay, so look here. This is why it's important. She played ECNL. So the reason that's important is we want to know where they're recruiting from because that will help us determine you know, where do we put you, what teams to play on and what teams to play against. So she played for the highest level of youth soccer and she playing D3, which is, she may, it depends. There's a lot of different reasons for that, but it's good to know. Okay, so we keep going. Davis, Santa Maria, Golden, Los Angeles. Let's see her, where she was recruited from. Two-time Slammers. So she played for the Slammers, which is a, a good ECNL team, usually. Uh, da, 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 blah blah blah. Okay, then keep going. Da, 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 da. No connection, no connection. Most of the time, there's going to be no connection, but you have to look just in case. Okay, Lake Show. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, now we get to the good stuff. So it's an all female staff, which is pretty rare to be honest. Um, let's look at the coach. So write this down as number three. Look at the coaches. So we talked about this early on. What's going to determine your happiness is going to be your coach, not meditation, not your self awareness. It's going to be your coach. Um, now, the other stuff can help you manage that, but it's, you know, your coach is going to dictate all that. So we want to read about it. So she's uh, a three time conference champion on her in her fourth season. So, fourth season. So, she's not old, but she's not new, which is good to know. She's been in a national finals for the NCAA Division Three, which is very impressive. Um, coach of the year twice served as assisting with the program for two seasons. Okay, so she's been at Santa Cruz for a while. Um, with Natalie at the helm, the team has made multiple NCAA appearances, which is a big deal. That's like the World Cup. 30 athletes have been selected for all conference, blah, 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 14. That's okay. Nadler came to UC Santa Cruz serving as an intern from Dominican, blah, 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 before working for the Barish, the head coach of Massachusetts or MIT, which is obviously a very, very educated, smart school. She was engineer, da, 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 number 15, blah, blah, winning his coach in history. Introduced as head coach, she co-created and helped teach Slug Leadership Academy. Okay, this is really important because you do a lot of extracurriculars. In our email, we might mention, I really admire that you, you know, think leadership is important, that it's also important to me, blah, blah, blah. Okay, UC Santa Cruz now to graduate from Leslie with her bachelor's in science. And then she has her coaching license. Okay. So the reason this is valuable to us is now you know her face and you have a pretty good idea of what she's like. Would you agree? Yes. Okay. Now we're still looking for a connection. That is the name of the game. Connection, connection, connection. Um, Leela, in her first, uh, first season, assistant coach. So she's new. She came from... Mills College, okay, da, 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 no, nothing good for us, blah, 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 2020, Merritt, okay, bachelor's degree from UC Santa Barbara, from Berkeley, okay, she's very educated, good to know. The reason also to add to this is when you meet them, I want you to be like, it's very impressive to them that they know that you research them. Now, we're not going to be able to do this for every school. We're not going to, 
but we are going to do it for the rare schools that we want. The other thing I want to mention is like you maybe you early on you had mentioned like I really want to play you know D1 and you know aim for that which is what we're going to do but you should know this school is really good at soccer like this past season they were average but in the past they've gone to the NCAA tournament under this coach this is a top division three program it's not just like any division three program it's a very good school so means that their you know their recruiting process is different okay so in her first season goalkeeper blah 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 director recreation okay okay she graduated from Vassar, very good education. Okay, so now you have an idea about the coaches. All right, so you, you wrote that down, right, coach? Okay, now write step number four, email. So now we're gonna write the email. Uh, so write, oh, sorry, I deleted it. My bad, I screwed up there. I didn't mean to. Good. Um, everyone can see my screen, right? Okay, yes. all right, so now we're gonna write the email. Whoop de doo, very exciting. So this is how we're gonna start all emails. Okay, this is non-negotiable. Even if you convince me to try new music, this is non-negotiable. Dear coach, da, 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 comma, paragraph, paragraph. Now, email templates are not the same as paragraphs. You do not tab, you just keep it like that. Um, and the reason this is really important is if you don't have good grammar, they do not, especially those girls who are very well educated, they're not gonna to wanna to talk to you. So I'll help you with that, but this is how you start it. I hope this finds you well, period. Now, this next sentence is really important. If you were to write an email and just talk about yourself, it's not going to be very good, okay? Because it's just like every other girl. Hi, I'm so-and-so, and I want to be on your team, and blah, blah, blah. So we want to talk about them first. Now, I'm not saying write an essay about them. I'm talking about two sentences. So the first sentence is, and this is how we're going to be able to expedite the process and be able to email many schools you're going to go i um i have read and heard great things about you if you have not read or heard great things then go read or go watch video and go hear some um the reason this is important is you're trying to be different and we've already used the word you twice which is very good that's what we want so I've heard great things about you. Okay, now this part is we need a genuine sentence about the school. And we're gonna create one in a second. Okay, then the next part is the template. So this is the part that will remain the same no matter what, copy paste. Does that make sense? Now it's constantly changing because we'll have new things to brag about you, but we need to work on this right now for you. So we're gonna get that. Let me add one ask, next part. Then you have the ask. So the ask can be a couple different things. It can be, I will be attending your college ID camp. I can't wait to shake your hand. So now the, the basic what we're saying is come watch me at the ID camp. Make sure you actually watch me. Don't just take my money because that's how college ID camps work. But if we can get them to notice you before you go, good things happen. Another example could be, I will be in the blank showcase um, my games are on the following. Um, I would be so grateful for you. And I'll, I'll help you with all this, so don't worry about it, for you to attend. Okay, so the ask is that they come to watch you play. Number three is a college ID camp. I will be on campus um, next week. I would love the opportunity to meet with you. This is a great way to get to know coaches especially like 1v1 and nothing, just so both of you know, nothing today stops you from going to knock on their door and saying, hello, you're, they're a person, you're a person. Now they can't recruit you. You know, they can't even talk about recruiting with you in a month. They can, but in the next, actually D3, like Santa Cruz, they can actually talk to you right now. Um, so I'll be on campus next week. I would love to uh, schedule a time to meet you in person. And there's a bunch more, but that's the point. Okay, so let's go for fun. Actually, no, we got to do your template. So, um, Miss Jillian, I want you to spend three minutes writing your template. This is the part where you get to brag about yourself, and then I'm going to fix it. So, ready, set, go. While you do that, I'm going to show your dad this other thing. Um, okay, so 
Uh, let me pull this up for you. So, Dad, your daughter's going to interview Coach Daniel, and she knows how to do that. We went over that. Um, and if not, we will re-review it. You remember how to do that, right, Ms. Jillian? Yes. You have the link in order to ask the questions? Yes. It's right here. It's under highlight video outline in case you need to look at it. All right, but I want to show your dad because he may help you. So these are some students' videos that I have worked on. Um, and this is probably, this is one of the better ones. Yeah. yeah. Okay, before I show you, at the beginning of her video, she's going to have something very similar. So you'll have a, and I'll make this for you so you don't have to do anything, but she's going to have her alkylates, okay? In her case, we're not going to mention her height or her weight because we don't care. Um, but we are going to mention her GPA and what team she's playing for and uh, what year she graduates because that's really important. All right, so then we're going to press play. So now you get a little personality of the of the kid. If I just showed you the soccer, you're like, I don't, I don't know the kid, which is, with the soccer is important. But I like that they get to know the person at least a little bit. So it's just, you know, now you get to, you have an idea, you get a vibe. So now we get to watch the soccer. I think there's college soccer in the future. You know, being one of the top you know, level there, um, do I think that's in Tristan's capabilities? Absolutely. So that's where Coach Daniel's going to come in, and he's going to make the video pop and go, not only do I think I'm a good soccer player because here are my highlights, here's somebody who's a professional who also thinks I'm a good soccer player. And then we're just gonna let the video go. And then at the end of the video, we'll have like a little reference thing that says, here's who I am to call me and here is the coach. So that's why it's so important that she does the interview of herself and that she does her coach's interview. Um, and she knows the direction. She's gonna wear soccer gear for her personal interview, ideally at a soccer field. Uh, she knows how to record it. She might tell you, she might ask for your help. Um, but that's where that comes in. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Very good. Okay, let's go back to Miss Jillian and see how she's doing with her bragging about are her. You, are we looking for multiple people to validate her? Good We're question. Good friends with the uh, with Frank, the director for Oceanside Breakers, who she used to play with. He would be more than happy to do that too. That's awesome. Then in that case, to be honest with you, I'd love, I the person with the most college connections is is, is ideal. Yeah, I mean Daniel, then yeah. Yeah. Um. Then Coach Daniel's ideal for this. Okay. Uh, that's good to know. So here we go. Where is okay? I play for City of C. We already did this. Did we not, Jillian? Okay. I play for City of C. Um. I play for City SC, Marcos DPL and L6. I have a 3.0 GPA. I'm currently enrolled in AP class. Good. I play center midfield for my high school and I was awarded offensive player of the year. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I know you're going to write some more. Um, so what I want to do. Hold on a second. We did this already. I forgot. Please. We did this. But I wanted you to, it's a good exercise for you to do because you had did a much better job we did a much better job in the first one here it is um so i play for sc san marcos so i have a 3.83 i'm enrolled in ap human geography and i'm doing dual so this part here is the part we're going to copy and paste each time cool cool um yes perfect now the other thing we're going to do and this is obviously kind of where i come in is the other thing we'll add in, so we're going to have a genuine comment. The other thing we will add in from time to time is, um, you know, Zev speaks very highly of your school or of your program. Um, and there's a handful of schools that, more than a handful of schools that I'm connected with that 
we're going to push that. And then if they don't respond to that, then I will help you follow up and I will call them and email them and yada, yada. Okay. So real quick. Here we go. So here is UC Santa Cruz. We're going to copy and paste this template. This template here, sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're going to go right here. Okay, now we're going to write a real email to UC Santa Cruz. We're not going to send it quite yet because we're waiting for the video, but we are going to draft this. So dear coach, I hope this finds well. So now we need to find something genuine to say. So Ms. Jillian, from the research that we did, was there something that stood out to you um, that you might want to talk about? And we're going to, all the emails, by the way, I'll put this in the template. All emails, all emails are sent to the head coach and all the other coaches are copied. Cool. Okay. Uh, sorry. So going back to UC Santa Cruz, um, is there anything you can think of that you would like to say that you thought was genuinely interesting? Um, was it about um, like just the head coach or does it have to be about the school? We're going to do, you can't, if it's about the assistant, we can absolutely put that in there, but I want it to be about the head coach. That's who we want to impress. Um, that leadership thing that she did, that was really, yeah. That was cool. All right, so let's go back to that real quick and review it. All right, so I want you to write something. Go ahead, Miss Jillian, write something in the document. Just give it a test. Next time we're gonna fix it and make it pretty. Um, actually, Miss Jillian, we're gonna do that next time. Do you guys have any questions? No, good. Okay, so before you go, Miss Jillian, can I book you for next week? Yes. Um, so here is actually before we do that, your work your college soccer dream work is going to be get the video, fill out the platform as best you can. That'll take you two seconds. Um, write out one email to UC Santa Cruz. I want you to do it on your own without me, just so that way when I fix it, you'll know what to do for all the rest of them. And, and I'll always help you. Like eventually the majority of our time is going to be sent college ID camps and go and doing emails. That's once we get the video done, cool? Okay, so is that too much work or can you do that, all that? No, I can do that. Okay, all right. Now, uh, view booking, yes. Okay, so I know we've talked about this. Today's Saturday. It might be the best time to meet. Uh, anything Monday? Uh, that's pretty soon. You don't have to meet that soon. Mm, what about Thursday? I have practice on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. What time? What about Wednesdays? Uh, at like 5.30. Yeah, bad time. I'm booked on Wednesday. Uh, booked on Friday. I'm also booked. Uh, what about Saturday again then? We can do Saturday. How does... Let me check one thing. Um, what is your schedule like on Fridays usually? I work on Fridays after school at 4 o'clock. Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter anyways. Okay. That explains that. Um, okay. So let's do Saturday. Uh, what time would you like? I would prefer 12 if I get a vote. Noon works. Brilliant. Uh, oh, wait. I'm sorry. One. I vote one. One's good. Wonderful. Okay, um, we are all done, everybody. I am looking forward to us continuing. Any questions? Yes. Yeah, how's she doing on the rest of her homework from you? Is she caught up? Is she... she owes me everything that we discussed. This is what I need. I need to just get the video to me. That's the most important. Uh, and then I need, that's actually, that's actually it. I just need the video. Okay. All right. The interviews in the video and those directions she has this document but those directions are right here everything yeah.
So that's it. Otherwise, she's up. Okay. Okay, everybody. Wonderful. Actually, do you want to give me your new email? Or do you want to use the one you have? Um, use the one I have now. Okay. Yeah. That's totally cool. All right. I will talk to you guys uh, next week. All right. Thank you, Zeb. Thank what you. do you do for work on Friday? What? What do you do for work? I work for my dad. Well, then we could put that in the email potentially. Okay, we'll put it in my email. Okay. okay. She's a food expediter for the restaurant. She's that's like our best, best one busiest to go Okay. Well, that's very yeah, helpful. Just me and her dad, like, she legitimately runs the, the kitchen. Can we, I know it sounds really silly, but would you mind recording something, like just a small like thing of her like doing work for a minute? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah, lots of that. Very good. Talk to you guys next right. week. Thank you. Bye. Bye, thank you. Bye.